What to do, y'all? It's Black Gaming. In today's video, we'll be going over the new update. We'll be looking at each update for each character, and I'll be putting up some side by side videos so you can see what actually changed and how it affect the gameplay. The first character on the list is Deku. I don't know why Deku got another nerf. They he just catching strays at this point. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. People do complain about Deku a little bit, but I don't think he needed another nerf. They nerfed his Black Whip, reducing his reload time on the cooldown, and by reduced, they mean they took it down. They didn't make it faster, they made it slower. Here's a comparison video of after and before the patch. I clocked the times pretty much at like one or two seconds less for before and after. So it's not really that big of a nerf. I don't know why they did it to begin with at this point, especially if they was only going to be taking one or two seconds away. So it's kind of with a useless nerf. So for anybody who wants to main Deku or is maining Deku already, don't take this one to heart. It, it really meant nothing as far as the as far as the gameplay goes. So you can fast forward this part of the video so we can get to the next character if you want. And for anyone who wants to see the comparison, you can stick around and just watch this. The next character we'll be talking about is Bakugo. Alright, so Bakugo's nerf is a lot more drastic than Deku's nerf, and pretty much the further we get down the list, the more drastic the nerfs get. But Bakugo's nerf, they pretty much double the cooldown time for a special attack. What you're seeing in the background right now is after the patch, and I clocked the cooldown time for after the patch at around 20 to 21 seconds. But before the patch, as you can see here, it's about 10 to 11 seconds, so they doubled the cooldown. So for all the Bakugo mains, this might really affect your gameplay a lot. Um, when you start to lose a firefight, you can't just run away every two seconds. So <laughs> you can't just keep jumping over your opponent's head and AP shotting them and dropping bombs. You, you got to strategize a little bit more with Bakugo. So for all my Bakugo mains, I don't know how this is going to affect y'all. Y'all going to keep maining them. I honestly didn't want another Bakugo nerf. Yeah, his movement was crazy, but I didn't have much of a problem with it. But it looks like they just had to do something to him as opposed to nerfing his damage. They wanted to balance him without nerfing his damage because he is Bakugo. He should do a lot of damage, but I guess his movement had to take a hit for that to be possible. The next character on the list is Froppy, and this is probably one of the most important nerfs that we're going to get in this patch. Because she pretty much got nerfed into the ground, and she probably got the most changes as far as any character here goes. So we're just going to go through it one by one and then talk about it a little bit more. First thing they nerfed is her quirk skill A. They reduced the damage of it at all levels. They Unify reload speed at all levels, reduce the number of bullets at level 1, reduce the number of bullets at level 2, and reduce the number of bullets at level 3. So now instead of 3 to start, she only has 1 to start. She doesn't get her third bullet until level 4. For her quirk skill B, ribbit swing, they reduce the damage at all levels. Now, when I say they reduce the damage, they really reduce the damage. I'm going to put this comparison gameplay up so you can see for yourself. What you see on the screen is Froppy before the patch. As you can see, at level 1, I hit that Bakugo for 65 with my R2, with my alpha skill. Now, at, here what I'm showing you is after the patch. As you can see, after the patch at level 1, she's only hitting for 56 now. And that's a, a lot of damage taken off from that move. And now I'm going to show you level 9 before and after. You can see she's hitting for 90 before the patch. And after the patch, she's only hitting for 77 at level 9. And that's just her alpha skill. For her beta skill, before the patch, you can see she was hitting 80 on her horizontal R1. And now she's only hitting for 68. 
at 59 on her vertical so they nerfed Froppy pretty bad in this patch and honestly I'm here for it she hit way too hard for a rapid character I personally think she was way too easy to play I used to main Froppy but it got too easy for me so I started to play other characters and it just I just wanted to play other characters anyway but it did get pretty boring playing Froppy especially seeing her become the meta so I would really like to see how this switches up the gameplay maybe it won't be a Froppy on every team now and as far as Froppy mains go let me know in the comments if you're still going to main her but she's pretty much cooked as far as she's falling from grace they they finally did it i feel like they finally nerfed her into the ground i think you'll still get some good gameplay out of her but you're going to have to actually strategize now you can't just jump in and hit r1 until your opponent is dead so and it's going to take a lot longer to get a kill with her i already thought her time to kill was pretty long to begin with even with all the damage just because after every hit your opponent goes in the half frames, but now you're going to really have to get busy with Froppy. I might personally go back to her because of this nerf, because it'll definitely be more fun and more satisfying getting kills with her. But like I said, let me know in the comments how you feel. The next character I want to talk about on this list is Toga. And believe it or not, with this simple buff in this patch, she might just go up a tier. Her quirk skill B slash her killer knife increased damage of attacks from second stage onwards at all levels. And they increase the number of bullets. So now instead of one charge, it has two charges. But the damage increase is crazy. So she gets her first attack up at level 2. And at level 2, after the patch, you can now hit for 134 total if you get the whole combo of her beta skill off. And before that, you can only hit for 124 total. But what I really want to talk about is, is at level 9. At level 9, if you get the full combo for a beta skill off, you're hitting for 199. And if you play Toga, you know that as long as you're getting hits, you can keep it going. So you get a 10 hit, two 43 hits, and a 103 hit on every move after the final hit. That is a crazy amount of damage. And now that she has two charges, while she continues to run with her beta skill, her her other charge is still on cooldown. So it's almost like she can have an infinite beta skill. This has increased her movement as well as her damage a lot. This has to move Toga up a tier. I'm actually really excited to play with her because of this buff. I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. The last character I want to talk about is Aizawa. And I'm not really going to put any comparison videos for him i'm just going to show his damage now it went from 18 to 20 21 so it only went up about two points and at this point i think they're trolling so it's not enough i'm going to see maybe it'll add up in game i'm going to see how it plays with him because like <laughs> if you've been watching my videos you know i've been main in Azawa since he came out but that is definitely not enough for Aizawa. Just, just two points of damage is insane. And it's on Aizawa's birthday. When this update came out, they actually give you a reward for logging in today for Aizawa's birthday. And for his birthday, they gave him two more points in damage. It's actually crazy. But that's it for the patches. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Let me know if you are upset about any of these nerfs or if you're happy about these nerfs. Me personally, I wasn't technically asking for these, but I'll take them for now. What I'm really waiting for is the bug fixes. So hopefully the bug fixes are coming soon after they feel like I guess they balance the game a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm getting close to 400 subscribers. That's really a big milestone for me. And I'll see you in the next one.